What's up, Jabrini Simi here? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Angel, episode number 17 of season number one. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you are, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, head over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction episodes extra early over there. If you want them, if you don't want them, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up. Uh, so yeah, we're hopping into Angel here. This is episode called Eternity. Uh, last episode was The Ring, which I thought was actually a pretty solidly good episode. Uh, we were fighting, um, well, Angel was captured, essentially thrown into like a fight club situation mixed with gladiator we, we were fighting to the death and hopefully um not dying uh i thought it was good i, I enjoyed it um it was a different situation it kind of was building on the lore of the world that we created and i'm actually very curious to see uh where we go from like with like a, an actual arc next because this was like a past couple episodes kind of have been one-offs um and we haven't really had any we haven't really had any kind of um, overarching um, story for the past couple episodes, except for, I guess they mentioned the lawyers. That lady worked for them. So that's the main baddies we got to worry about. Uh, but yeah, we're going to hop in here, have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. Pretty much. Here we go. Maybe we can make a break for it. Impossible. Front exit. Maybe spotted instantly. Back door. Blocked. That's it then. We're trapped. My church is in fire. Oh. It's not technically a crowded theater. Been own a television? Whoa, whoa, that car is about it to run her over. Show. Canceled by the idiot network. I'm good. Oh my god. I'm good, guys. What did she like? Who called ET? Emma Thompson? Entertainment tonight. Emma Thompson. <laughs> We're here for the party. Oliver? It's going to be all over the tabs come morning, Beck. Might as well just put our own spin on it. For Stay. Whoa, like they're dogs. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> but he can't help one defenseless actress from a psycho? What is your thing? He likes her. Oh, shit. He's afraid of getting close. Oh. Because of his curse? Uh, e oh! It's a figure. A woman. It's Rebecca. She's in danger. <laughs> Terrible danger. <laughs> not a nice use of your powers, Cordelia. Come on. Use it for Go good, Just not evil. Go ahead. Support group for everything in this town, I guess. <laughs> Did he spend the night? One assumes. Oh, great. He spent the night with a fantasy of millions. All Angel's moment of true happiness occurred because he was with Buffy. You realize how rare that is? True happiness? Yeah, but is it sex? Or is he... Wesley isn't at all worried that yeah. he might You're here. sleep with her. And you brought a cross. And along with or, three, and that will change. Have -fat skinny lattes. And a cross. Well, judging by the outfit, <laughs> I guess it's safe to come in. Even Angel never would have worn those pants. <laughs> Where's Rebecca? She had a lunch to go to. God, if I had to sit through every one of these, sheer boredom would kill me. Oh, Rebecca. shit. <laughs> Why does a part of me feel that it's her? Like she's doing this on purpose. She's trying to grab fame again. Rebecca. But is it him? Are you all right? Maybe he's setting it up. Because he would know about the back alley thing. When was that exactly? What do you mean? I never would have let you get hurt. You must believe that. So he was doing. Publicity. I thought the publicity might help you get the series. I, I was just coming to see you. 
There was no one upstairs, so I just came down. I hope that's okay. You can. I mean, you do. I can drink other liquids. <laughs> Good. Have you got glasses? Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's, uh, it's kind of fun. It's cold. <laughs> I'm into this. I just wish Andrew didn't fall for her so quickly, but I guess that does make sense. He oh. fell for Buffy very quickly, right, too. Right <laughs> you know... The next time I try something so corny, I promise not to ruin your wardrobe in the process. What sorts of questions? Oh, you know. Where does Angel hail from? What's his favorite color? What kind of aftershave he wears? The exact specific details on how someone could make themselves into a vampire. Oh, shit. What do you don't think? <sighs> what? That's what she wants to do? That she try to maneuver Eternity. Angel into an exchange of bodily fluids in order to make herself eternally young and beautiful, thus saving her failing career? Gee, now that you mention it. Oh, shit. You don't have to. You can have what you've been craving all these long, empty years. Do it. We won't have to be lonely, either one of us, ever again. Uh, you're wrong. You don't know what it is you're asking me to do. Of course I know. I'm not a fool. There's a price. I understand that. Uh, you couldn't possibly understand. Yeah, you lose your soul. Afraid, you become I? evil. You want me to help you? Well, yep. What are you doing? Big decision, Rebecca. Eternity. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? What okay. did you do to me? What did you put in the system? I thought you put. Lower the defenses a little. What was it? Just a little. I think so. A what? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Everybody's so sorry. No way. I just wanted us. Yes. Ah! Perfectly happy. Oh my. You can trigger this? How do you trigger Cool Angel? What's the matter? Look a little nervous. Actually, I don't want to call him Cool Angel now because regular Angel's not cool. You're free! You're just trying to scare me. Is it working? How about now? Maybe not. Oh shit! Did you really let him out? Oh Jesus! Crazy. Oh no! I'm a vampire. <laughs> what you wanted? Boy, you know you could stand to drop a few pounds. No. Wait, where's she going? I thought it was gonna be some final destination type Thank elevator God. falls. Well, I may have given him something to help loosen him up, and now he's loose. Yeah. What did you give him? Does it matter? Well, if he's all homicidal, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> Doximo. He hasn't really turned. It's an illusion, not real. He bit me. Oh. Still, we might want to leave the premises for a while, just until the effects wear off. Well, are you sure they will wear off? Reasonably sure. Oh, we're gonna die. He's got the power. Where's the box? But I can't tell if this is just I'm setting the whole thing up or Looks if like it's somebody really. didn't pay the power bill. Cordelia? I play odds that the phone's dead too. What happened, Wes? Did you suddenly grow a pair? Well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, that's the whole root of your inferiority complex. Well, good news, Wes, old boy. You don't really have an inferiority complex. You're just simply gonna, inferior. He's going to kill him. Oh, Ooh, man. Wesley, no! This can't be real. He's hurting them for real. He's throwing them around. Why don't you just... just, 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 just Line! Please let me tell you. Oh, Why? Whoa, what is happening? This is I mean, real. I hell, but that was so much worse. You had to be there. I mean, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Everybody was just laughing so hard. Oh my God, what are you doing? Maybe you can get 
Raven here to coach you, then you'd actually suck. I think this is just water? You're bluffing. Am I? You don't think I wasn't ready for this, do you? That I hadn't prepared for it? Why do you think I have a stake stashed in my desk, a cross in my back? I think about this happening every single day. The Oscar goes to... <laughs> Damn, they knocked. Damn. I'm so sorry. Can I get another reading on that line, please? <laughs> Rebecca, is she gone? Oh, and no. But I really didn't mean and it. Yes, you did. And I'd appreciate it if you didn't try to weasel out of it. And Jealous may not be the most relaxing company, but at least he's honest. There's Shouldn't no I soul. expect the same from the not evil version of my friends? There's no soul. Cordelia. <laughs> hey. yep. All right. I'm going to lie. I was leaning towards a seven before. Then the final, like, 20 or so minutes, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, were absolutely awesome. Like, amazingly awesome. See, you guys, some of you guys always be like, some of you guys have, you know, say that, you know, loving angel or evil. I mean, I call him evil angel. Um, so much. Like, I shouldn't love the character. But there is no way that you can watch that last scene there and not just be, like, in awe of the way that, um, What's this actor's name? David uh, something. He the way he plays Evil Angel. There's two things this guy does amazingly well. He has amazing timing for comedy. Whenever we do comedy, and he plays the evil version of his character to a level that's absolutely phenomenal. Like he was so evil in that last scene. I kept saying, "Is this a play? Are they pretending?" And it wasn't until she said, you're just trying to scare me. And then he was like, is it working? And I was like, well, in my head, I was like, why would they bring that up if they were trying to keep that as a big reveal? But then, but I was still like, is it, is she trying? Like, what's, I kept questioning it, right? Because I'm like, there's no way. And then when Wesley said the drugs thing, and I was like, oh shit, it's like a drug that makes you just feel completely happy right and i was like I, and i still had the doubts i was like no way but then they went to he started trashing wesley and with personal shit then he went after cordelia and i was like wait this i'm like if this is fake there's like i'm like in my head i'm just like there's no way there's no way this could be fake it, it wouldn't it wouldn't make any sense like you're allowing you are allowing to go to some personal Deep things to hurt someone. And as much as I would be like, oh, um, let's play, let's scare this girl. This is some hurtful shit he was saying. And then in the end, come to find out, no. He literally went evil for like for like about ten minutes. That's crazy. Um I don't know. To me, that final 10 minutes or so, maybe 15 minutes, when he went evil, what about right here? Here, that final 10 minutes or so, would you guys agree or disagree that it's probably, besides the Doyle stuff, it's probably the best moments in the episode? So there's, there's three moments to me that stand out for like the best moment of the episode right actually there might be four um there's the moment with um the comedy moment where in the first episode where or second episode where he's wearing the hawaiian shirt and he has the accent that shit like i love that moment so much right uh the doyle moment for the feels that you get in those final like in that episode amazing then this one i think is up there with that then there's the moment 
there's another moment. There's a couple of moments with uh, the um, cop girl where the daddy's like her, her father's stuff. And then the episode with Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. It was Renner, right? The other vampire. Um, those are the moments that stand out to me for like from the season, right? The ones that you're like, holy shit, this is great. And I'm going to be real with you guys. This is a way better season than Buffy episode season one, right? Like that's not like a debate or anything, right? There's no way that's a debate. Season one of Buffy is like two or three pretty good episodes. The rest are kind of mediocre or bad. Uh, I'm trying to think if this is better than season two of Buffy. I don't think it's better than season three of Buffy. Nah, it's not better than season two of Buffy because season two of Buffy has an angel, pure evil. That introduces Spike. So it's not, so it's not better than that. Um, better than season four of Buffy. Because to me, season two, season three of Buffy is probably the best season. Then probably season two. And I'm debating if like Angel season one would go right behind it. Season two might. The two and three of Buffy are probably, are absolutely, for the most part, almost every episode is good. Really good. I think season three is the best though. I'm being honest. I think season three might be the best season. Although I, you know, that's when I, I still have my complaints with Buffy and Angel's whole thing. But I, and I didn't love some of the situation. Like I didn't love the begin. <coughs> I didn't love the beginning of that season, and and all that. I didn't hate it. I just thought it was kind of like just okay. Um, for like for the first three or four ep- like three or four episodes. Um, the season two has lied to me in it. And two introduces evil Angel, evil Spike. Hmm. Hmm. This season's the season's rock solid, man. It's a it, it's up there with it, man. To me, it's like I mean, and we don't even have a true overarching like overarching like an arc like a story really. Honestly, it's just all solo episodes. But man, is it good? I don't know. But let's get ready. Let's uh let's break it down. Sorry, I rambled on there for a bit. I was just this episode. um. We start off the episode with some comedy. Cordelia's acting. Or lack thereof acting, because it's not, let's just say, the best. Um, like Cordelia's, uh, like, Angel, like, they set it up like they're in like this really dire situation. Like, like we make a run for it, the back door. Oh my God, we're stuck. And then it's Cordelia's acting, which you kind of knew what's going to happen. I didn't know it was going to be acting. I thought, I knew it was going to go for a comedy moment. Uh, but then Cordelia's acting, and then what does Angel say? Oh my God, I thought I knew what eternity was. <laughs> It was like this is what I tell you. Like his comedy delivery is so good. And Torvald is not as devoted to me. <laughs> and I thought I knew eternity. <laughs> it's ah oh man, man. Angel, the season of Angel has made him become one of my favorite characters. And I wonder if I go back and rewatch Buffy and see. Nah, I, I just nah. I, I probably won't like him um as much because I'll be like. Cause it makes you watching this here it makes you be like, man, you gotta really give an angel that personality on Buffy, on the show, right? But whatever, awesome because we got the spinoff. But nonetheless, we start off. Uh, we're leaving uh, Cordelia's um play. We see uh, Cordelia sees an act a uh, studio guy, and then we see a perf- uh, um episode didn't have anybody an evil person a bad guy. I mean, it did, but it didn't. Uh so. No, oh, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't have a bad guy. So we, we were leaving. Uh, then this famous actress, she's walking into the street, and a car is going to hit her, hit her, and Angel saves the day. So the only real thing I didn't like was how quickly Angel fell for her. And like I said during the reaction, it does make sense. It is Angel's kind of thing to fall very, really quickly, the way he did with Buffy. Um, yeah, so they have their whole conversation. She's like, he doesn't know who she is. She's, I get her. and wanting angel so badly because wait you don't know who i am like you like you're the one one of the few people in the world who doesn't know who i am and is willing to like be like and have an actual real relationship Cordelia wants the fame and all that so she's you know, giving her the card and everything she then the angel kind of being like doesn't want to be in the spotlight but then is a little bit hurt that he wasn't in the spotlight we then hop over here she comes over talks about I am bodyguard. 
help want to hire you, not blood, all this other stuff. Doesn't want to do it. I'm not, um, I, I, I'm not gonna, he, he says a line that Cordelia yells about. I don't understand. Give that information. Sorry, but I can't take your case. Are you insane? <laughs> and then, <Achoo>. Achoo. <laughs> um, so, you know, and Cordelia gets mad. And then this is the part where I was kind of like, yeah, Wesley saying, oh, he likes her. I don't understand based on the, what we've had. It's just pure, it's pure physical. You, you have no idea who this girl is. You don't know how she talks or anything. It's pure physical why you like her. Cordelia tries to do the pretend uh, pain. We, they kind of try to do this whole uh, um, situation where, oh, you're in, well, her life is so hard, right? Because look, at she's getting her eyebrows waxed and she has to be at this party. They try to allude, they try to give you that sense, but at the same time, you're kind of like, really giving you that sense it was so short we didn't really do a montage or anything we didn't see her at the house Locker's here angel comes through the window fight scene i mean it's cool because you thought the person coming through the window was gonna be the soccer and then it's angel and then the soccer's behind her and you get his ass whooped this scene when she or no reflection thing you're like holy shit he knows angel just says it <laughs> just says it all um then Cordelia's like, oh no, he didn't come home last night, he spent the night, pure happiness, and then Wesley's like, well, you know, he only had pure happiness because he was with Buffy, which again, comes to the point, Wesley isn't worried that he, that he spent the night with a girl, I mean, but like, is it he's not worried because Angel wouldn't do that, or he's not worried because having sex with a random stranger isn't the same as being happy, and I've, I've kept saying that, like, if Angel has sex with a person, would he turn into evil Angel? What if he has sex with a hooker? Would he? It would. Would that be considered happiness? It wouldn't be happiness. It'd be like, oh, I just needed to have sex. But I've always kind of had this weird thing where, like, I don't know where the line is with that. I love this. Cordelia has a giant cross, <laughs> and I love Angel's response of. I guess it's safe to come in. Here. And you brought a cross. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's so embarrassed, like a. Uh, you know, I thought we were beyond past this. That was really good. Um, one girl didn't get the part. Or not yet. She has to audition. She says, well, she hasn't has auditioned in forever. She wants to bring Angel to this um party to be her bodyguard. They go through the back alley. She gets attacked. At this point, I'm like, wait, why would, who would know that you take, that you do this? My first thing was like, oh, is she, is she setting this whole thing up for fame? Or is I, oh, it's. Well, her manager guy, the one that did it, because he's the one that would know, and then he's trying to get her in, you know, sympathy press, I guess. We get a sympathy role. Uh, we then hop over here. Conversation happening here. Oh, I'm afraid there were blanks. Oh, yeah, they, you know, they realized that uh, Angel and Wesley, that they, uh, the person is, what was the whole setup? Then we got her asking for Dilly all these questions. Comes over to hang out. Um, bring some a bottle of wine. They're having a nice time. Did she spill this on him? Mm. Yeah, she did. This was her. She did this. Her <laughs> laugh leaned forward, which made his things. He did. This was all part. She set this whole thing up. I mean, I knew she was going to put something. When she put something in, like, yeah, but I didn't know it went all the way to the point where she, he, the whole spilling the changing shirt thing. Put something in his drink. Then Cordelia realizes a little bit later, like, oh, shit. I said, remember everything that the girl asked. Then she calls Wesley. Oh, Wesley, we got a problem. Um, of course, Cordelia gets distracted, but then it goes into, yeah, she uh, asked me all these questions about turning into a vampire. And, uh, yeah, I think that, um, Wesley says, Wesley asks, like, do you think that she's going to, and Cordelia finishes, you know, get him to turn him into her into a vampire so she could remain young forever? Yeah. And we have this moment here. This turn me. And you're just trying to fight. Like, what are you doing? What? You don't get what's happening. Then this thing was crazy. I didn't. I was like, what? Your own reflection has been corrupted into something unrecognizable. You think you want it to stay the same? What you really want is to make it disappear. You're supposed to help people. This part. 
help me. You want me to help you? Fine. I thought he was just kicking her out of the apartment because he got a little angry. But then this shit turns into... <gasps> Big decision, Rebecca. Eternity. Like, look at that, bro. That's fucking intense. And then he's doing the whole, oh my God, he's hurt. And I'm like, what are you doing? And then this part made me just jaw drop. I'm so sorry. Everybody's so sorry. I just wanted us both to be happy. Oh, but I am happy. You are? Yes. Ah! He, he bit her. You have to die, turn. Because he got blood. Oh, but it has to be Angel's blood. Never mind. Angel's blood, not random blood. Oh, yeah, and then he turns. And then this entire thing, I'm like, is he pretending to be this crazy to show her the side of what it is when you're a vampire? Um, I was completely wrong. Completely wrong. He is just evil angel, which is, I call him cool angel, but I can't really use that term anymore because cool angel... Regular angel now is cool angel, so evil angels is cooler than regular that already cool angels. So it's like this whole I have to figure out my new terminology now for angel, because they used to be evil angel, aka cool angel, and then regular angel on Buffy. Now it's like well, regular angel is cool, evil angel is still cooler. <laughs> but this was all amazing. I thought we were gonna get some final destination shit when she with the elevator and this, and then I was like, wait, are they in on the plan? Like, are they part of this whole? Let's scare her thing, and then, ooh, nope. This was amazingly shot. Just what walking. Oh, yeah. I love this part of this. Look, look, how, look how good this is. Looks like um, somebody didn't pay the power bill. Like, that's a straight, that's a straight horror movie. <laughs> like, like, it's so good, right? And we have our, this whole situation. Love Cordelia's acting here with the water. Blessed every day, every Sunday. It was awesome. Throws it and then she's like the Oscar goes to and then I'm ready tackles him at this moment. Angel says some messed up. Angel Angela says some messed up stuff here, um, evil stuff. But they're gonna forgive him because they know evil Angel is, you know, can't really can't really blame him. I guess even once he says you can't blame him with the drugs. But in the end, give or forget. We're good, whatever. So. How do you rate this episode, right? Because to me, the finale, the final 10 minutes were like a nine. No, oh, my bad. The final 10 minutes were like a 10. And then, although I was in, and then everything else to me was a seven, which is, was all really good, but there was like no, there was no um, lurking evil in the background, right? Besides the stalker. Stalker. At first, I was like, could, "Could it be anything?" But once we be we beat him up, I'm like, "Oh, he's just a human." Um, I'm between an eight or a nine right now. I'm like, does a ten, does the final ten minutes being a ten bring up a pretty good seven of an episode? Yeah, it has to bring it up to close to a nine because because then you get the whole acting and the talking. And the realizing why she wants it. Mm, really good episode. Uh, but nonetheless, that's my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction episodes extra early over there. If you want them, if you don't want them, totally cool episodes here whenever they show up. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to talk.